FNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White, here at TFNN. And, of course, uh, we've had Chairman Powell uh, talking. Probably everybody is looking for any crack, uh, a sign of just the thinnest sign of light. And, of course, uh, saying that he's probably not going to be raising interest rates uh, at a uh, three-quarters of a percent going forward. But that probably doesn't make anything a lot better better. I think a lot of people are getting in front of the market right now, thinking that uh, it's the end of the year, we'll probably have less selling. Fund buying really kind of starts tomorrow. And we're up 45 points on the S&P cash. The volume is not all that exciting since he started speaking at 130. But uh, just a handful of things. Uh, we are at what should be fairly significant resistance levels now, though. So the question is, can we break through these before the end of the day, or do we just give this up? Of course, uh, earlier in the morning, the ADP reported fewer jobs listings in October than expected. The Labor Department also said job openings fell in the month. Uh, DoorDash uh, laid off uh, 1,250 folks, so those uh, layoffs in tech continue. We also had some earnings with uh, CrowdStrike and Intap, uh, respectively, down 20% and 10%. Uh, so stocks are still getting fairly punished if they don't. They don't have to miss that much. They just really, at this point, if you're not blowing out highs, you're probably going lower. Uh, anyway, we'll see uh, how this comes up, but uh, this is pretty much the uh, line in the sand on the uh, S&P. We're right above the 4,000 mark at 4,572 for the last tick I see, but that's kind of it at the moment. Uh, we'll see. Powell is not quite done with his question and answer session, but um, you've got a few things, at least for the next few days, that look a little bit more bullish, mostly fun buying. We'll be back with the show in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand.